It's week one of the NFL, where representatives from the AFC and NFC will square off. It's the Mounties and the Redwoods, under the lights on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the state capital of California, the gold rush city of Sacramento. Tonight, we kick off the new NFL season with the opener for 2023 between the Toronto Mounties and the Sacramento Redwoods. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest. A new season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency. And that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Second and 10. To throw is gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Golf. And his throw is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Going back to Gibbs on first down. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Off play action, here's Goff. That pass caught, it's Williams. That's good for 28 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're gonna be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. Gibbs. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So a great second effort there as he's able to stay upright and get into the end zone. I think not just a second effort. I think a third effort was what got him in. Maybe possibly even a fourth. Yeah, whatever it was, he was not going to be denied. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that a seven play, 80 yard drive. And it was all capped off by a touchdown run from Jameer Gibbs. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. 
So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Well, what an exciting time here in this great city. Of course, it's no stranger to big-time sports. They've had the NBA team here, but now a relocation franchise in the NFL. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open on the left side, this is Valdez Scantling. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. This is taken at about the 14. A nice return that time, gets 12 yards back. And that will come the offense as they take over. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I wanted to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coaches to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing again is gone. And this will be incomplete. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Golf. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Here is third down and four. There's Golf. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. A quick throw, but incomplete. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. 
throwing is Mahomes on third. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's a play that likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. The plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and if points result, we'll call this play significant. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third, gone. Open man right side is St. Brown. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Badgley's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 27 yard line. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time, he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And it will be first to 10 as they take over. Toronto's offense ready to take over. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 45 yards for him on the ground in this first quarter. He has been tremendous to start the new year. At the 36-yard line. On second down, here's Goff. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Now a first down throw, gone. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open, 
and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. First down, Toronto. Gibbs straight ahead. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Toronto in possession of the football. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. As they've got it as we resume action. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of the story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass and you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and the lead will hold at 10. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. So the missed 56 yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. On first down, Mahomes completes it to Hardman. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Mahomes now on first down. Forced out to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. To throw, it's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey. Touchdown. And the Redwoods have cut it back within a score. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10 7 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. But Jameer Gibbs and the rest of the offense headed back out. He's been effective so far over the 40 yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. 
the leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Now gone. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 22. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Goff going to get this to Gibbs. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 11 yards there, first down. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. Down to about the 37. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Out of the gun, Golf going underneath, Gibbs has it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. He'll take it inside the 25. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here, they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Goff now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll run with Gibbs. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Goff now looking to throw. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. Touchdown! Amon Ross St. Brown from eight yards out and they are able to add on to their advantage a nice connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines right perfect route a good throw in the defense they had no answer for that right there here's badgley now to try to add the pat it's good to make it 17-7 so that drive, 12 plays in length. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Patrick Mahomes in the offense heading back out. He hit Travis Kelsey with a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll begin here with a first and 10. 
Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantlin. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 45-yard line. Mahomes now to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. That was a beautiful executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantlin. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Now throw right side taken in by the tight end, Gray. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Mahomes going to throw. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's caught. Touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scandling from four yards out. And the Redwoods are back within a score. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Butker on for the PAT. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drives seven plays in length. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? So the pitch and catch good for 11. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first and ten, golf. Pressure comes and down he goes. Now we'll pause for an injury, and it's the quarterback, Jared Goff, shaken up on the play. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. 
And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Able to push his way through. One more go for this offense in the first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Mahomes now on first down. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Under pressure, and down he goes. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. And this is caught that they say out of bounds. It would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. Some great games still to come. And I think we highlighted one of the better ones right there, as that promises to be a tight one. Plenty to like about the late afternoon games as well. As you see by the highlight, these guys are in for a battle, taking on what should be a very tough opponent. And then lastly, on Monday Night Football, those fans will be riled up as it'll be a good matchup between their guys and what equates to be a very tough opponent. All right, in the first Coach, half, thanks. Yeah, both Alabama teams likely man. to make Jameer some changes in what's been a closely it. fought battle to this point. To help get his guys this halftime lead. This take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point, and now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you referenced in the first half? They're putting that all together, come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Romeo Aquara is shooting in there and dropping it for the sack. Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. He'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And they'll send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. That's pulled in at the 32. 51 yards on the punt there. And they will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Third down and one. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. And that's why he spent a first-round draft pick on a running back, not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On second down, here's Gibbs. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now a second and ten. Second and ten. At the 27 yard Throwing Bridgewater. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37 yard line. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Third and long now after the sack. And we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. Now back to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Jameer Gibbs making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Badgley up and good. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. Hardman will elect not to bring this out, and the football will be on the 25-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Catch is made by Hardman. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown! Miko Hardman, 75 yards. And the Redwoods have got it back to a little score. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that cuts the lead to three, 
And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. But Jameer Gibbs and the rest of the offense headed back out. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. Second and six. They'll go again with Gibbs. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going. And down he goes. The pressure getting to Bridgewater. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Well, they bring their punter out there now, standing just outside his own goal line. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing now is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Great catch and first down by Kelsey, who somehow continues to improve 10 seasons and seven all pro nods in. At this point, we've moved past just calling him a future Hall of Famer. Now we need to just start saying he's one of the greatest to ever play the position. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Line. Now here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Well, that one caught by Rice. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. Able to find Gray here. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Now Mahomes. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Redwoods have taken the lead here this third quarter. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mount it in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will make this a four-point game. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of first downs because even if you have to punt then you change the field position right you flip the field a little bit they didn't get that done this time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out 
A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And they come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Off the play fake, Bridgewater. The throw here right sideline, falls incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So they bring out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. On second down, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We are back now in Sacramento as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he the race. And he's able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's Rice. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Simple drag route here, lined up out left. He tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down in the 32-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, just one for five to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Shits by him. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. They give him 12 yards and a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Touchdown! Nico Hardman already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Redwoods are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. On third down, Bridgewater. He's got right on the short throw. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And on now is the punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Mahomes now on first down. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Mahomes now to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Romeo Aquara now with his second sack here on opening night. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Under pressure, they got him again. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Back to throw here. Just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. Toronto's offense ready to take over. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And they start things off with a carry by Gibbs here. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now third and two. Throwing is Bridgewater. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. On the give, here's Gibbs. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 99 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. To throw, Bridgewater. That's to the tight end, Laporta. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A gain of five, and the Toronto first down. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. This is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he is going to go down. 
Chris Jones, his second sack of the night. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. Third and goal for Bridgewater. Now he's forced down left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Teddy Bridgewater, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Mounties have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that big man? Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. But they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And it is caught, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating defensively. You're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, force the ball free, and it's second down. Now it's Mahomes again. He finds his man complete. It's Rice, and he's got this down to the 35. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now Mahomes. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. The CD, you know, anytime they get close to the red zone, he is such a threat. And there he is again already. His second touchdown of the ball game. And I know it's probably a little bit of a failing on my part, but you know I watch a game through defensive eyes, and I don't understand what the coverage was doing there. When he headed out deep, they should have adjusted and flowed towards him. Instead, they left him out there and gave him a chance to make a big play. And of course, he did exactly that. His size, speed, and versatility makes him a top target in any game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. So Jared Goff in the offense, down by 12. Just over a minute, 40 to play. To throw is Bridgewater. Open man, downfield is Reynolds. And past 
the 40 before he's out of bounds. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. St. Brown on the catch. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Throwing Bridgewater. Steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, and this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Trent McDuffie with a pick, and he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice it starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. and Well, partner, tonight was a great way to kick the season off. That Before the game, probably as much pomp and circumstance to start a season as I can ever remember, and this is just game one of many to come sitting next to you, really looking forward to it. As am I. Great to be back in booth with you for another season. Great to get this year underway. You and I both know interesting is going to be the word. An extra week now is part of that newer 17-game season. What a fun opener tonight. We know the better games are still on their way, but I'm glad that we got started. So for Sacramento, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Toronto, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.